Hey everyone, so I'm back and and so I'm just gonna make a short video. I am not quitting. Um I know it feels like I am and I said it several times that I am quitting, but I'm not. I just been so darn stressed out at this move and it's just been a lot going on. Um finally we are moving. Hopefully be moving the next completely move in the next week. I mean, there's stuff that's, that is going down. So I just went ahead and taken out these two dolls. So with Hazel, I changed her eyes to, my first, um, she had sealed dyes in her. I just went ahead and took them out, but I changed her eyes to see how what she looked because I was just bored. And I got the inspiration from someone I knew so I was like hey why not I never changed eyes before so I went ahead and found a random pair of eyes and I was like well this seems to match her more than all my other silicone so I changed them and so far people who are shown um they like them and her um and um I got him um Benji's kind of sculpt um uh, but yeah, um, so, anyways, I'm not quitting. I'm just in the process of moving. I've been, it's been a lot. Um, it's not just moving. It's just life, lifing. Um, so, we had a couple of houses that didn't work out because people like to rent houses, um, corporations too, and they don't take care of houses. And, yeah. So finally we found something, something. Um, so, I mean, I know every house has issues, but golly, you know, you're going to rent something out. I mean, take care of it. Like, why do people got to live in, in the power crap they paying all this money he stays for? So, I'm not changing the stuff today. I'm just talking. So, anyways, um... A topic that I came on about is what the hell is with these with the prices of silicone these days? Like over the past few months, like why is everyone, even for a mediocre girl, quality silicone? I like local like now they selling premiums for like five thousand dollars. Four thousand, five thousand and they selling um and people selling babies like this and not all of them even are full features. Most of them aren't even full features, like armatures and stuff. But they, they trying to sell get sell them for like sixty five hundred to eight thousand. And I'm like, it ain't a prototype baby. It doesn't have like she has full armatures. Some of them don't even have full full, full, full armatures or none at all. I'm I'm like, no, I know that there is inflation and stuff, but. My opinion is that the prices of these darn reborn doll kits ain't ain't went up really. They haven't really went up. They all have consist consistently stayed the same throughout the um inflation period, or just about the same. Uh, yeah, paints and stuff are expensive, but you know that was, I mean paints were getting expensive. Uh, when the Genesis um stopped um you know stop making their little paints and I mean, they weren't cheap but that i you know these paints they new paints they ain't really sold in those little bitty jars no more with those little trial sets i mean it's been a while since i've been into painting crap but yeah but i'm like what the hell justifies is taking out a second car payment or I mean, not payment, like a second mortgage, or that's what it feels like, or something on, um, I mean, what, why are some of these people raising their prices by like two, three thousand dollars just for nothing? Like, some of these dolls, they be mediocre girl from artists no one knows and stuff, or barely knows, or got a little bit of name. I'm like, y'all beating out the prices of, y'all beating out the prices of all my darn silicones. Egg. I mean, for me, that's kind of too how much I spent on two or three of mine. Like, 
Ooh, Lord. But I guess, you know what, the message is, hold on. You know, you got silicone babies and stuff. I know I had mine for sale. Thank God they didn't sell. Um, thank God that people p p picked and choose. And I know there's more silicone collect. I mean, there's more reborn collectors than silicone, but... I also think that part of it is also that people in this community like to pick and choose and they buy based off of who is popular and stuff. But I already talked about that and everything, so I ain't going to be going over that. But um, same time, you know, people, yeah, oh well. But, you know, the message I got is, let me make this video before my husband fusses at me because he's loading boxes, but, and I want this to upload. But people pick and choose. Oh my God. I am, see, I just woke up. I try to rush. Hold on t t t to your cell cones. Just hold on to them. I mean, if you are still interested in your cell cones, and I understand people sell one dog for another and stuff like that. But it feels like, even with cell cones now, you got to sell your whole collection to get one new dog. And I, trust me, it's not. Unless you're trying to downsize your whole collection for just one really, really high quality doll, and it better be high quality. I'm talking about how capillaries, veins, all the features and stuff like that, like that, but be your absolute dream baby you plan on keeping forever. Like people say that it's their dream baby, and and this is their forever home, but then they don't say, I ain't talking about pe people who like play like that. Like, to, I mean, for the most part, it ain't worth selling your whole collection for um one doll i mean i mean everyone's circumstance is different but that's how it feels like you guys sell your whole darn collection two three dolls which to be honest the, the market sucks i mean good luck that's why people trading but and that's why a lot of these artists they be having 50 dollars for sale and they keep making these dolls like Okay, the reason why they're not selling is, yep, they look good or look decent, but they're expensive as hell, and people can't sell and got other things, and you're pricing up something that's not even a, a necessity. And to be honest, even before the recession, some of these people were making, like, thousands of dollars of profit. Anyways, but kudos to those who price reasonable and, and are not greedy because you know some of this stuff i'm like there's no justification for y'all raising the non-essential item that much money i mean charge what you want but but don't be crying when uh nobody buys them because that's i mean that is just what is going on but they want to lower the price oh well but yeah um hold on to your dolls and silicones and stuff if you really don't have to sell them if, i mean there are circumstances or sometimes you just don't want all that crap laying around the house. I'm a damn crap. <laughs> all that, I just say all that crap because, you know, I declare too, but it's the same, it's about the same thing. These babies ain't crap, but you know, they babies, they so cute. But, you know, it's just a thing. All that mess laying around the house and stuff. I mean, sometimes you, you just want to downside it's a bit and i've been there when i felt like i wanted to downsize i felt like i could downsize a bit more but it's hard when you are bonded to them but yeah anyways i'm about to get going soon i mean these prices are expensive now people are tripping and i mean after what i'm getting i'm done um i'm done because, you know what, I could do a lot more. And I know I could have it in time to pass, but, ooh. Need yeah, these prices for one doll. Um, but, mm, what else do I have to say? I know I had something else, but I don't know. It was just going to be a short little video and stuff, though. But, you know, I, you know what, I fell in love with her right did her hair so if I know her hair looks a mess now but I really love her now so anyways I'm about to get going I can't think of my other topic I need to go before I get fussed at so
So, I'll talk to y'all soon.